Hey, Erica and Jessica. This Saturday, the Coastal Virginia chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness, NAMI for short, is holding what's called NAMI Walks, quote unquote, your way, meaning they want you to walk anywhere you want, however you want. It's all to help boost mental health, and it's in. Uh, it, it coincides with National uh, Mental Illness Awareness Week, which always falls in the first full week of October. So right now we're in the middle of it. Now, as you just heard, one in three Americans reported having depression or anxiety during the pandemic. That's according to the CDC. Now you can compare that to a typical year where one in five experience mental illness, and that shows you that we have an issue that is indeed growing here in this country right now. Now, NAMI Coastal Virginia has numerous free support groups for individuals and families led by people who struggle themselves with mental illness. Elena Schecksneider of Chesapeake is one of those people. She says she had her first thoughts of suicide at just 11 years old, and by the time she was 30, had attempted to take her own life multiple times. It wasn't until she found something called dialectical behavior therapy a few years ago that those impulses became manageable. It makes you slow down the process and maybe make a healthier decision. So instead of self-harming or cutting was what I used to do, I would hold an ice cube. And it would give me that same sort of sensation and kind of snap me out of, you know, that space. I wouldn't take back all of the work that I've done the past six years. Like I finally finished college, but I always say like learning these new skills to survive has probably been the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, it's certainly, you know, a scary experience and a, a, a very difficult life to live, but it's an experience that Sheck Snyder is sharing by being a group leader with NAMI, right? She helps others living with depression and other mental health struggles know that they are not alone. And she says even the way she looks, her skin color can make a difference for people seeing somebody who looks like them. And so with that, we're going to talk about actually the new support group she helped get started during the pandemic. You'll hear about that when we make that switch to WGN in just a little bit. For now that we're live in Norfolk, Anthony Sabella, News 3.